Weather with forecaster Steve Gannon. Let's go to Pocatello, shall we, from our Farm Bureau SkyCam vantage point. 32 degrees, light winds, some cloud cover in and around the neighborhood. Light winds are the rule of the day all the way across the region. In fact, you're going to have to look real hot. You're, you can't. Find a double digit wind speed at this hour. Did you notice the temperatures, though, around the area? The official overnight low in the country was six above in Big Piney. Did you see? <laughs> Arco had three, Mackey had four. Uh, they'll get credit in our record book. But we are watching this storm system come inshore. And if you look real close, you'll see a few scattered showers are starting to spout up here in the southern portion of the Snake River Plains. Nothing serious. We got a little shower activity as well up toward Island Park. Nothing serious by any means. No, the serious one is out here. You see that trailing cold front? There's a lot of cold air there. There's a lot of moisture there. And this storm is sagging further south than the one that we've got coming in. This is the one you saw in the Washington, Oregon area that's coming in tomorrow. But the Sunday one promises, or it doesn't promise, it threatens some activity that we'll be talking about here momentarily. Now by tomorrow morning, a little activity out west of Stanley, south of Boise, but not much close to home. Not much close to home by tomorrow afternoon. But then late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, yeah, here comes the snow showers moving through the area. We're going to move into or Sunday afternoon. They're still here for the most part. What we're worried about is what's called a Snake River Plain Convergence. Now that's a fancy word for all the elements coming together at the right time in the wrong place. By that I mean from Rexburg south to Pocatello, from about Ryrie and Swan Valley east or west to Arco. The storm just sits at a central point and then pivots. It just wraps around itself. Everything to the north, south, east, and west, not so much. But everything within that area can get its fair share of snow, and the gusty winds that we're forecasting as well are going to add zest to the life. Winter storm watches for the central mountains across the arc of Butte County and then Clark County down through Island Park toward Bear Lake. That's in response to the storm system that we expect to move through the area. Not tonight. We're seeing overnight lows tonight in the teens to mid-20s over most stations. Even a few upper 20s here and there. Driggs is not one of them. Neither is Island Park. But we got 30 degrees in American Falls, 30 degrees in Pocatello. That's not bad. 17 in Soda Springs. A little warmer in Preston and Malad. A little cooler, as you see, in Pinedale with a 2. High temperatures tomorrow, again, not bad. I've seen worse this time of year. Back in 1972, the overnight low record in Idaho Falls was 28 below zero. Nice. <laughs> to put that into perspective, Idaho Falls with a high of 35 tomorrow, 35 as well in the, at the INL. A little cooler in West Yellowstone at 26. We got some 30s up north. But look what happens as we get from Sunday to Monday. Pretty good chance of showers in the Pocatello area. A big cool down from Sunday to Tuesday. Sunday and Monday is the day we expect most of the snow shower activity. And if you look at the Blackfoot Long Range Outlook, you'll see the threat of showers all the way through next week. Cool down in the Upper Valley as well. 36 on Sunday, 29 on Monday, 23 on Tuesday. But you see Sunday, Monday, the chance of showers, the breezy conditions. Yeah, watch out for that if you're traveling. 23 for high in Rexburg on went on Tuesday and up in the salmon area we're not expecting a great deal of wind but you'll notice those cooler temperatures you'll notice that threat of showers all the way from this Saturday to next Saturday and you get up into the Jackson West Yellowstone Island Park Driggs country same story threat of showers likely to be breezy there as well so that could cause some heartburn for travelers so be aware of that Carol heartburn on a cold day thank you